Hi, welcome to another to another episode of um, J Boss View 6.1 Quick Start video, and I'm Christina Lin. We're here to um, talk about the Hong Long Quick Start demo part three. And why do I like using um, J Boss Views? Because actually, it gives you the best of both worlds. I know it's kind of um, painful to learn a new integration framework or software. So uh, if we have um, a GUI interface to assist you through the process, it's much easier to get the hang of it. But once you get really used to familiar with this um, framework, it's often time that we want to skip the GUI part. We, we always want to go back to the coding part because it's much faster and it's much easier. It has, it has more um, flexibility. And with JBoss Fuse, it actually gives you both. So for people who's getting started with the with our JBoss Fuse, you, you have the choice of having a GUI and drag and drop interface. And after you get familiar with um, JBoss Fuse, you can start with the coding base. So, and with the deployment parts, because um, JBoss Fuse is cloud ready. So there's not much modification between an on-premises or um, a cloud application deployment. All you have to do is decide where you want to um, start up your container and it will just automatically does it for you. So you don't have to go through the pain. And it actually, um, JBoss Fuse gives you um, on-premise and cloud in between options as well. So you can uh, you could deploy your application part on-premise and part on cloud. So let's, get, in, let's uh, get started with our demo. We have already gone through th um, two parts of our demo. The first part is uh, getting the XML file from um, a pseudo home application. It's, it, it's giving you uh, a customer information and a house information through an XML file. And part one of the demo is we are taking the XML file and we're gonna, we, we process it and we put it in the queue. After that, we started with our um, second demo. The second demo is getting the customer information and um, insert it into database for further use. And now we're going to do the third part, which is dealing with the um, house info. The house info is more, much more complex because the owner decides that if, it's, if the house surrounding contains more schools, it's gonna um, bump its value. So it, you have to do extra quotations for that. So how do we find out if the um, a house has, has you know more schools surrounding with it so this time we're going to use um, Google, Google App Engine for it and for Google App Engine it's not just it, we need to um, call it two times because we only um, have the address from the XML file but the Google App Engine that's finding the school which is called um, the place API needs the um, geo coordinations for it so we're going to get the geo coordinations from the address then get the address uh, get the school surrounded for the address with our geo code so Part three of our home loan demo is uh, getting the house information from the queue, calling the web services, uh, calling the um, Google app through the RESTful web services and process it back and you know do the quotation, update the quotation and store it into the database. So this is the third part that we're going, we are doing. Now let's get started with our demo. Continue on from our previous demo. We want to create a new camo con um, XML con configuration file to hold the new um, house info process or our routes so let's create a new one and for this for every new route or every new context I always like to give ID and that's for a debugging reason and now the um, ID is added And now we are going to add an um, AMQ endpoint, which is going to read the house data from the um, AMQ that we have um, put it in um, demo one. And we're going to add a Marshall, a Marshall um, components to process the data. And it's the same, like giving um, the class name of the house info. So it's going it's going to turn the data into a house info pojo, and from this demo, I'm going to show you how to call a camera route from a camera route. So we're going to drag an endpoint and specify um, the camera route endpoint. And we're going to create another route within this context and we're going to call it school route since we're going to process the school information in. And it's going to give you a blank canvas. Choose direct start, uh, direct school start we have assigned earlier and copy the house pojo into a header because we are going to use the body context in the camera route for later use so we're going to copy the body into the um, the header and after that uh, we're going to 
a, add a process class that's going to process all the house information and data. So let's add a create one and add a new address processor method in and add a bean class that's going to call the um, house processor and executing the new address method. And we're going to call the Google App Engine. With this Google App Engine, we have to uh, uh, call it with uh, the dynamic Google URL. So we use a rece reception list. And with that, we're going to add our Google key and our body in. Our body contains the information, uh, the, the information needed. And after that, we're going to add the data format. The data format is going to transfer the re result return from the Google App Engine into the Pojo that we needed. We didn't assign any class because we want to use the default. And by default, it's going to turn into an array list or a map. And after that, we're going to pr process the um, array list or map returned by the Google App Engine. And we wrote another, uh, another method in the house processor that we created earlier and added a bean to call the... Uh, the, the method that's going to process the information. So add it in and give the bin type name as the processor name. And after that, we want to add a log and to see if the uh, result is returned. Oh, okay, so now we save it. And we want to do some logging. And for this um, Google app, we're going to ask for the uh, the geolocation is the longitude and latitude of our address, so we're going to see if it's working. And now we're going to do a camel run and see it's getting the information back from the Google app. All right. So after that, we're going to uh, we're going to add a, a header which is needed by the Google app engine again. This is not used by others, but just this Google app engine. We are going to use the recipient list again to uh, call call the uh, RESTful API dynam dynamically, and uh, for the Google App Engine, and paste the uh, the RESTful URL into into the uh, expression, and put the body as the uh, coordinate that we have um, done earlier, and for the delimiter we have to use the uh, uh, we have to change it because the default one is a comma. The comma is used in the API. So we have to um, change it. And now we are going to uh, marshal the result into a into a POJO, um, a default POJO, which is a map. And create um, the, uh, put the result back to the body. And the result is returned in the array list. And the number of score is just the size of the array list. And now we're going to move um, the routes that we have done earlier, move it back to the front so we can bring it back to the canvas and do a log and to see if the, uh, the result coming back from the other route is correct. So uh, put a message from schools and the number of school, which is going to be the body of the content. And we're going to actually redo the quotation again with uh, for another method in another method so we're going to put it in a appraisal processor and it's taking in a house information and the number of schools so the per per parameter of this is quite different so it's going to take in the house the house information we have already stored in the headers before and so it's still going to be inside header which is called header my header uh, camel my house info and the number of schools is in, is in the body so Put it, I'll give it as a parameter and log, log and to see if everything's all right. And now we want to uh, putting, put the information, the, the new um, updated quotations into database. So as previous demo, we want to uh, call the SQL components within the, uh, within the camel that we have assigned earlier on. And we have done all the uh, sequels for insert insertions. So what we are what we are going to do is put every single one um, parameters needed for the um, insert sequel into header. So that's what I do. That's what we are doing. And as I mentioned, that sometimes you don't want to uh, 
you know, use the GUI because sometimes it's um, it takes you longer. So I'll just paste it in my XML, so it's much quicker. And now we're going to call our um, final endpoints, which is um, putting the information into the database. So we use the SQL components that we have already defined in um, in our uh, part two demo. So we are going to uh, call the informations, the the uh, the SQLs. And the SQL is called insert house info, and that's it. And we are going to do um, a, a Maven installation just in case that it's not pumping up to the uh, Maven repository. And we're going to do a camel run. And this time the camel run is going to uh, we're going to place an, a house XML into the the uh, the folder, and it's reading all the informations. And now we get all the uh, information back and everything has um, inserted into the database. That's all for um, this demo. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And we, as always, all my resources are my blog and, and all the, so the source code are on GitHub. So you can always check out my code on GitHub if you don't, if it's going too fast in the video. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.